for a worm update and the uh, reason I'm doing it now is because I'm going to add my first uh, additional tray. I'm still, still everything's in the first tray that I started with and that's been just shy of two months. It's uh, be uh, four week, or eight weeks on uh, July 6th so no time like the present because I, I'm uh, due to feed them anyways. I haven't put any food in there now for two days, so I'm hoping everything is pretty well settled down. First thing I'll do is prepare the second tray, and uh, in order to do that, I have already pre-made another batch of uh, bedding, which is uh, a core uh, coconut fiber material, and uh, not a, a full block like I put in the bottom part, but just a, a half block mixed in with um, some shredded newspaper, shredded cardboard, and a handful of uh, shredded rock, pumice stone, that uh, was actually, that came with the uh, bin, and I forgot to use it in the initial setup, so I put a good handful in there. And I also shuck in some ground up uh, eggshells. So that is all ready to go. I'll move the camera over a little closer so you get a better view and uh, get to it. So we'll take this off, remove the top, and things are really doing well. I'm very happy with uh, what's going on here. And as you can see, I maybe can't see, but I, there's worms all over this paper which is just fine. They'll end up in the, the top section, which is going to be the new feeding station. And I'm going to remove most of this paper, and that's going to go up into the top section as well, because it's pretty primed and uh, loaded with good bacteria and things that'll get things going in the, the new feeding bin very well. Scrape up as much of this as I can. And then I'm going to, this little rake thing came with the, the set, and uh, I'm going to stir things up in here just to aerate it, but it's, and I, I had to mention too that uh, the weight of this bin has really increased since I started it out, which is uh, a good thing, I'm sure. It's going to indicate that we're making a lot of castings in there, turning a lot of the dirt, I mean a lot of the food and that, into usable dirt and that. And it's starting to look pretty good to me. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this soil worms and all, and throw it along the bottom here, kind of as a, a base to get things going. And then, I probably could have actually let this go a little further. The instructions say to get it up near the top, and as you can see, I'm probably about two inches below that, but uh, I'm confident that Everything is doing so well that it's not going to be a problem. And then you push this down so that the tray makes contact with the goodies below there, the surface of the uh, old stuff. And it's a little cockeyed, so I'm going to smooth that out a little bit so I get a little better contact. There. That's better. That way the Worms have an easier time of migrating up into this next bin. Then I'm going to put some of this well rotted paper around up in here too. There's plenty of worms in it. Just to get things going. Okay, then I'm going to put a little bit of food in there. This is pretty prime food. This will uh, attract the worms up from the 
lower bin into this bin and I'm just putting a little bit in each corner just to get things going. Probably going to take a few days for them to migrate up into there. Then I will add this fancy new bedding that I made. I'm starting to get the hang of uh, how moist things should be in the worm bin. And that just comes from observing and working with it for two months. Spread that all around nice and... I'm going to start out my first feeding corner with a piece of tape there. And then I'll put a glob of food in that corner. It's, from now on, all the feeding will be done in this top tray. And we've got quite a long way to go to fill it up. We've got probably about four inches. Uh, so it's going to probably take another couple of months to get it back up to that level. Now I will put all this back in. And there's worms in here too. I'm trying not to lose any along the way. The reason I wanted to do it now rather than wait till the other bin is a little fuller was that I was starting to get a few that were crawling out at night and I would find their dried up little bodies on the floor in the morning because of course all I have here is a concrete floor and they can't get very far I'm trying to burrow into that. So I thought that might indicate that uh, things are getting a little crowded in there because I, I do have an awful lot of worms in there and I, there's a lot of babies, a lot of egg uh, cases. So that also indicates that uh, conditions are pretty nice. And then I have some additional moistened newspaper shavings, or shredded newspaper. I don't want to disturb them any more than I have to. This has to be a little traumatic for the critters. And I'll put this back on top. About time to get some new newspaper there too, which I'll probably do next time I feed. If I can get this worm, I'll put them in there. Okay, now I will just cover it back up and I don't think I'll disturb it now for a couple of days. I'll leave it go and um, give them time to settle in and start to migrate up and uh, see how it looks at, uh, after a couple of days. Hopefully I'll find them eating on that pile of food in the corner and if that's the case well then I'll just start feeding around the sides again. and. Uh, let it build up from there. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time